it everyone, it's finally gonna happen. I've been getting so many requests about making this video, or not this video in particular, but just these kind of videos. Uh, I'm gonna do my first like tutorial slash how-to video today. And yes, I know a lot of other YouTubers and bike riders have already made these kind of videos before and they've taught you I don't even know how many tricks, all of them probably, but uh, I'm gonna show you guys my take on them and what I think up here when I'm learning new stuff. Anyways, uh, yeah, should we get into it? Yeah. I hope you guys will like this because I like teaching people stuff and that you guys have requested it for such a long time and I feel like I need to listen to you guys. Okay, so my idea of today's video is that I'm gonna show you 10 tricks that you can do on flat ground. You don't need anything to do these tricks. And you don't need a perfect training spot or the bike park or anything. You just need a street and maybe a curb. I don't even know. But um, yeah, should we get into it? Yeah. Some basic MTB tricks that you can learn anywhere. I'm going to start with a bunny hop 180 because that's a really good stone to build up on new stuff. So bunny hop 180 is the first one and I'm going to show you a, a couple of different kinds of 180s you can do on flat ground. We're not going to get too deep into like the process of doing the tricks, but I'm going to show them and I'm going to just quickly talk about them. The first and easiest way to do it is just to do a pop 180. So you just pop up with both of your wheels and just force it around. It's not much technique, you basically just do like this. It's a very good way to start learning how to do a bunny up 180, which is like this. So bunny up 180, obviously if you can do a bunny hop, you just have to turn your bar and move with your whole body and spin 180 degrees. Yeah, I'll show you a couple of different types of 180s you can do on flat ground as well. If you feel like you mastered the 180, there's a couple harder ones you can do. Uh, but yeah, on to the next trick and it's gonna be a build up from the 180. 360 tail tap. It's the first step of being able to do a 360 flat. So it's basically a 180 and you land on your back wheel and then you pop off for the rest of the rotation of a 360. Uh, you can do it the easy way as the 180 or you can do it the bunny hop way. I'll show you guys both. You pretty much just go up on the 180 and then instead of landing here, you just pinch your back brake. But yeah, so there you have two tricks and now we're gonna go into trick number three which is a build up from the 360 tail tap just building 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 360 flat this is quite a hard one to be honest you, it requires a lot of pop a lot of momentum and technique as soon as you get up in the air you need to push your feet up in the ass so you like tilt your pedals and then lift the whole bike because then you're gonna get the back wheel up that's the difference between a tail tap and a normal 360 flat all these tricks, all the spins, 180, 360 tail tap and 360 is easier if you go off a bank or off a quarter pipe or anything. Just everything that gives you a bit of leverage and like a bit of extra pop. It's gonna feel a lot easier than doing it on flat ground. But if you learn on flat ground, you can do it anywhere. Next one is a rolling bar, just a pickup bar with the front wheel, not the bunny hop. It looks something like that. It looks really easy and undramatic. Uh, the only thing you're doing pretty much is that you're pinching the seat with your legs, leaning backwards. If you don't pinch your seat, you're gonna fall back as soon as you let the bar off. So pinch your seat, stay in a comfortable position. Then you just start doing that. And then start doing the bar things. It's really, really easy to be honest. It's a really, really good step to get into doing bar spins and uh, yeah. I don't know, go slow in the beginning, don't go quick, because if you, you will land with your bar like that at least one time, and if you go quick like that, you're gonna yeah, get it into the private areas, or you're gonna go over the bars. I don't have too much more to say about the pickup bar, because now we're moving into the bunny hop bar spin, which is quite a scary one to try it the first couple of times, but it's a good one, it's a really good one to learn. Bunny hop bar spin, normal bunny hop with the bar spin. The only thing you need to think of when you do this, is to go on, go up in a bunny hop and then you, can, you can't really throw your bar here. It's gonna feel uncomfortable and it's gonna put you out of balance. You need to go up and level out the bike so you feel like you're standing like this. And then what you have to do is kind of similar to the roll bar. You need to put out your ass so you have a bit of room for the bar to go around and then just do a bar spin land. It's quite simple, 
but it's also very scary and it feels like it's never gonna work the first couple of times but yeah and yeah you can build on everything as you saw in the beginning i did a 180 bar i can do a manual like this and then i can pop a bar spin and i can also do the the 360 tail tap i did to a bar spin like that and then you can start doing triples in all directions and do like bar spins with tail loops and back loops and yeah this is a good one to learn so the next trick will be a foot jam just hop on the foot jam and find your balance point and just be able to stand there spin around and do some hops and just stay on the front wheel because it's really good for balance point as i said and it's also good for bike control so yeah here we go so when you feel like you can stand like this do some hops it's gonna feel like you're gonna fall over your bars in the beginning but as soon as you find the balance point and start jumping you're gonna feel like it's gonna get easier and then when you can stand like this and hop around you can start spinning a little bit like that yeah but an easier way to get up on it is just to roll with your foot like that and then go up on it like that and then when you know how to do that you can jump onto it like this nice so that was trick number six right yeah and then trick number seven is a build up from that one obviously as i said which is going to be the foot jump tail whip this one i started practicing when i was a kid like maybe 10 years old and it looks something like this like that there's a couple of ways of learning it but the easiest way would probably be to stand on the pedal like this to so start with the leg over the over the frame and then just roll up into it and then do this You just get the feel of doing a tail loop a couple of times you do it like that because you can't do it like that if you want your feet to get back to normal so you have to do it the jump jumpy way there's an easy way to start working on this but it's not going to work in the long run uh, but it's good to just get the feel of it so you start like this put your leg over the frame and then you go into it like this and then you spin around but as you can see here my cranks are not even I wouldn't be able to land that onto my feet because the pedals obviously have to be leveled for you to keep on riding so when you've done that with the leg over the frame a couple of times and just get the feel of the tail loop then you can start working on jumping over the frame like that and that's how it's gonna work okay so the next trick will be uh, a bubaka and it's quite a fun one to do it's a trick when you go up on the back wheel onto an edge find a balance point and jump backwards again to fakie yeah, we don't actually have a single edge here. So we're gonna jump to another location quick and do it there. Speaking of change of location, we're now in Barcelona because we <laughs> forgot to film at home in Sweden. <laughs> but yeah, here's our bucket. Just go up and then back. Go. And yeah, so that's Abu Bakr. It's quite easy to do, uh, but it's really fun and you can start doing bigger, bigger, bigger and with combos and everything as well. Uh, so yeah. So if you follow the program that we've been saying today and if you got all the way here to the ninth trick, I'm gonna make you guys breathe a little bit because this is not too much work. It's actually just about balance. So you sit like this, grab your back brake if needed. It's hard if you're not. And then lift your feet up onto the wheel and then you can balance like that and just sit like this because it's really good for balance training and it's very like it's very very basic but it's good for balance training and I always sit like this when I'm just chilling and then you can let your hand off and then you can I don't even know you can do it like this and you can let your hands off as well if you want so it's good for, <laughs> it's good for practice now when you rest a little bit with the balance one you can uh, jump on to the hardest trick of the day which is gonna be a full cab and what a full cab is, it's basically what you learned in the beginning. It's a 360 tail tap, but while going backwards. It sounds very, very hard when I say it like that, I feel like, but it's actually not that hard and uh, you can practice it anywhere pretty much. You just need to find a way where you can do a little bit of a fakie and then start working on it. It, it looks like this. Basically what you have to do is just need, you need to go up a little bit steeper on a fakie onto your back wheel and then just pop off instead of letting your front wheel back on the ground. You just need to do a little bit of a hop, jump around 
land backwards, and then steer around again. I think that's the whole video. That's 10 tricks, and it was quite hard to make, to be honest. It's so easy for me to just, I just wanna teach you so much, I start talking too deeply about every single trick, and it gets too boring for you guys to watch. But yeah, hope you guys like this video anyways. Hope you get some help from it, and hope you guys can go out there and practice it on your own. It would be awesome if you wanted to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and then I'll see you back in Spain, because me and T are flying to Spain tomorrow morning. Peace.